Greetings! Welcome to the Zentangle Art Wellness video. Today we are going to be making Zentangles. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, I'm going to take you step by step and teach you how to do it. Um, it is one of my favorite de-stressing art techniques. Before we do get any further, I wanted to explain the disclaimer. I'm just an art therapy student. This by no means is therapy. Um, but it is just an, a technique anyone can do at home to take care of themselves. So that is why it is called Art Wellness. Right here is my kitten. He's probably going to make an appearance throughout these videos, so I hope you will bear with me and maybe you'll find it entertaining. Um, so I guess he's excited to talk about the materials, so we'll start with that. Um, Zentangles can get pretty detailed, so the suggestion is to start with small paper. This little notebook is 4x4, uh, four four. Um, these little papers that I have, I like to do zentangles on them too, they're like 3 by 4 inches. Um, I'm going to stick with my notepad because it's my trusty old pal. I use macron pens and pencil. Um, if you wanted to do colored pencils with this, by all means, uh, markers, paint even, if you know, you want to go there, go there. This is your art, okay? So um, if you need to pause the video for a moment, go ahead and do that to grab your materials and back here when you're ready. Alright, now that we have our materials, we are ready to make some art. Uh, the general guidelines to Zentangles have about eight steps. I'm going to take you step by step through them, but by all means, make this your own. That's what art is, and as wellness and self-care, it needs to be what you need it to be, right? So the first thing we're going to do before we even pick up a pencil is we're going to get grounded. Now some people aren't familiar with that term. But it simply means that you're going to be focused in the present. You're not thinking about what you have to do later today. You're not thinking about something that went on yesterday. You're just in the present moment appreciating what's before you. So if you're sitting down on a chair, make sure your feet are flat on the ground and you feel the support and the weight of the chair. If you're on the floor, the same goes. And we're just going to appreciate the moment we have, um, appreciate that you've set aside time for your wellness. You have pencil, you have pens, and you're here and ready and open to making some art. So the next part of the Zentangle is making the first marks on the page. And sometimes that can be really intimidating when you have a blank page staring back at you. So the simple thing we're going to do is just make four dots in the corner of the page. Next step you're going to do is start to create a border by making light pencil lines. These can be straight, they can be wavy, curly, whatever you need. You're just creating the border for your Zentangle. And the next step, step four, you're gonna start making what is called a string. So these are kind of like just puzzle pieces. So there's no rhyme or reason to how you want to do it, but inside your border you're going to make light pencil lines um, to separate your tile into sections. A string can be any shape. It can be a curvy line that touches the ed edge of the border now and then, or a series of straight lines that go from one side of the border to the next. You make it your own. And the reason we want to have all these different sections, all these strings, is because they're going to be filled with pattern in the next step. So having the page separated makes that part a little bit easier. So inside each string, we're going to make pattern with a pen or a pencil. I'm going to use my smaller Micron pen um, so I can get in with some details. This one is much bigger. So this next step is where the Zentangle gets its name. We're going to make tangles inside each string. So each of these sections that we made earlier are a string. So what you're going to do is fill each string shape with a repetitive mark. You don't want to think too much about the pattern that you're choosing because then you're worried about what it looks like in the end and you're not allowing yourself to be zen or go into flow 
um, which is the benefit of creating this kind of artwork. So just pick a pattern, go with it, and let it flow from your hand without overthinking it too much. And in the video, this next part is time lapse, but seriously, take all the time you need to complete the tangles. This is the sustenance of the project. So that was the completion of step five, which is the tangle. Um, that's probably the most time consuming part. So if you've made it this far, great job. Um, yeah, just take some time to appreciate what you've made so far. And the next step is to shade or color in. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep mine black and white and simple. I'm just gonna use my pencil um, and marker. But if you wanna add color in here, you go for it. some shading or perhaps some color tours and tangle we are almost done the next to last step is to sign or initial your piece I like to do mine on the back so that the border is kept nice and clean so I just initial and date it but I would also strongly encourage you to write down some notes about the process I am a strong believer that art is more than the final product it's about the process of creating as well and the main way you're going to remember that is by writing it down. Maybe just a simple note about where you're at in life right now. What led you to take some time for yourself in wellness to be creative and make some art? The last untangled step is to appreciate what you made. So go ahead and pick up your paper and turn it around. Look at it from every angle and appreciate the fact that you made this. And every little detail came from your hand and your dedication to taking some time for yourself. I hope you found this time to be beneficial to your wellness. If at any time you find yourself needing additional assistance, please seek the help of a mental health provider in your local area. I applaud you for joining me today in creating a Zentangle, and I hope that you found it to be a beneficial experience.